Gary in Maryland writes to me and he says, my wife, <laughs> boy, <laughs> when it starts out like that, my wife will not let me move my TV cabinet. Doggone it. Uh, Mrs. Gary, uh, you, you say put nothing between the speakers. Okay, well, I cheated and moved my speakers four feet in front of my cabinet. Good job. My speakers are eight feet apart, seven from the sidewalls. My set is eight feet from the speakers and the soundstage is behind the speakers. Excellent work, sir. I also have, a, you know, we have to do whatever we can do within the constraints of what we have to work with. You're not going to change your house just for that, so good job. I also have a solid center image and the speakers and subs disappear. Good work. The bass being non-directional, I thought should fill the room, but my bass is focused in the sound stage behind the speakers. Is that normal or do I need to do a sub or two in my rear corners of my room? That is normal. Not only normal, it's appropriate. And you've done well, sir. Here's, I think, the problem. You know and I know that bass frequencies fill the entire room, right? The frequencies that come out of this loudspeaker are low enough where the wavelengths are long, 20 feet long, 15, 10 foot. They're room filling. And yet, the bass player is back here. Is that right? Of course it is, because this is where your sound stage is. This is where the musicians are, and the bass should be back there. The reason it's back there, even though we have 20 foot long wavelengths, is because of the pluck, is because of the transient, the opening transient of that bass is coming from these woofers here and their wavelengths aren't anywhere near as long. So you're hearing the pluck, the transient, the opening, whatever it is, attack of the bass notes, keeping it centered over here and your brain goes, oh yeah, there's somebody over there playing bass, which is what you want. The moment that the bass is so diffuse that it just fills the room and you can't tell where the bass player is, then you got it screwed up. Now. All that said, if you have a good set of speakers and a great sub, you'll find that that room filling bass, that gut punch that you literally feel in the seat. When you're listening to this system and somebody has this big synth or something coming on, they're back here playing, but you feel it sitting in your chair, which is that room filling bass, and that's okay because that's a visceral feel and that's, that's, that's good stuff. Okay. All right, thanks, great question, thank you, <laughs> bye.